We know what you all thought the moment Kendall shrieked, I'm having a baby, in the recent episode of the Kardashians, and we also know how far from reality that assumption was. What the model is having is a baby horse. But still, we can't undermine the fact that this will be her first baby, no matter what species it is. So let's dive into the crazy Kardashian life alongside her dear pet best friend. First off, Jenner is having a surrogate baby. The model, dating Phoenix Suns player Booker, is soon becoming a mother, although not in the way followers of the Kardashians had expected. The previous Victoria's Secret angel is expecting a newborn foal. She made the big announcement, smiling towards the screen and beaming with happiness. At that time, she'd just gotten the news that they had an embryo, which means that the pregnancy had been successful. We've all seen how much she loves animals and has a big thing for horses especially. When I was younger, and I'm sure you guys can all attest to this, I was like a huge tomboy, like couldn't really care less about fashion. I like, all I cared about was my horses. In the super eventful episode, she talked about how she had asked for sperm from a stallion as a birthday gift so that she might fertilize her mare and eventually have a horse baby to gush over. She'd asked her hairstylist, Atkin, for horse sperm, and we learned about this when conversing with him, remembering the entire incident. He'd been wondering what to get her for her birthday as he wanted to impress her with an exceptional gift, but she gave the suggestion and was pretty clear. We think it's a pretty weird birthday gift to ask for, but we respect her wishes. Sadly, her birthday wish did didn't come true, and she eventually had to buy the thing herself. Later, she performed a surrogate pregnancy on her horse, and the good news came quickly. Moving on, she was super picky with it. Going into further detail, she explained that she had to get the sperm from a stud, and we can assure you that this kind of stuff is not cheap. But since we have no doubts about the Kardashians' wealth, we can guess that she had no issues affording it. The process of extracting sperm from a stallion is very extensive and requires proper equipment and experience to do it properly. They have to trick a horse into mating with a fake but and at the end of which they attach a collecting sock. That's where the sperm is stored and later transported to the mare. It has to be frozen and stored in an ideal atmosphere, which isn't easy to manage. Not just that, but the model was extremely particular during the selection process because she wanted an Olympian horse. This breed is super expensive, but we can't deny that the horses are stunning. I, I've been a huge horse person my entire life. I've literally ridden since before I can remember, so I have a very strong connection with horses. She referred to Caitlyn Jenner's Olympian lineage while talking about about it, joking that she had thought her preference through and that only Olympians can live there. We think it's super cute that her love for her family reflects her love for animals. It's just so pure. In the end, there were chances that the pregnancy wouldn't work out, but it surely did in her case, and that makes us super happy. Finally, when is Kendall going to have a real baby? We've all gotten used to her being the only Kardashian sister who does not have a child, and mostly this doesn't seem like a big deal, but the family pressure is real. Most sisters have multiple kids, and we follow them around doing fun little activities with them. They're all settled up and content with their lives, so Kendall may seem odd, but we think it's all about preferences, and maybe she doesn't idolize her family's lifestyle. Chris's mom had tried to urge her to have a kid in the show's last season, but the supermodel expressed her reservations about having one pretty openly. She was recorded telling her mother how they always tell her that she's not going to get any younger, but it is still her life. She dislikes being rushed into things, as she sees having a kid as an entire responsibility that needs to be thought about. The model simply wants to wait until she feels the time is right. I saw Kylie was having a baby and then one of my best friends is having a baby and she's yeah. my age, so I'm like, Cool. You're like, right, so everybody's doing it. a little it. jealous, but it's fine. She expressed that she's unsure about being ready for a baby, and more importantly, she's busy loving her life on her own. She's perfectly fine with that, and that's where the conversation ended. Now it appears she will be a mother to a small horse, so it's all good. Now moving on to the model's net worth. To start with, did you guys see this coming? We all remember the good old times, not even that long ago, when Kendall was a preteen on Keeping Up With The Kardashians and would continue to talk about wanting to be a fashion icon one day. Most of us had probably disbelieved her, as most people do with younger girls and their ambitions. Fast forward four years and she stands as the most well-paid model in the industry for the fourth year. This means that she has more money than the Hadids and even Boonchin. There's a reason that she earns this much. The model does more than simply walk the runways, as she also has sponsorship deals, a tequila company, and is still a big reality TV family member. I have something special for you. This is my tequila. I'm so excited. This tequila is so bomb. We may have to give a huge amount of credit to the Jenner supermom, Chris, who has helped the model grow into the person she is. The mom is an extremely hardworking woman, famous for saying she works even harder than the devil. This exceptional work ethic was sure to trickle down into the kids, and now we see her happy in her life, achieving her dreams the way she wanted to. We mean, look at her going out, getting horse sperm for her mare, and affording her lifestyle, all thanks to how she's built herself up. But a more important 
important question awaits us, which we're all sure you want the answer to just as badly as we do. Following up, where does all this money come from? We know everybody wants to get paid for simply wearing branded clothes. That would be wonderful, and this dreamlike scenario is exactly how the model makes most of her money. She has lucrative brand endorsements with the likes of Calvin Klein, Pepsi, Fendi, Moon, and Proactive, all of which pay her a lot to promote their products and services using her platforms on social media where she has tons of followers. Hey Vogue, it's Kendall Jenner. Come get ready with me for the Vanity Fair Oscar party. Kendall, by the way, has dabbled in the renowned field of hashtag SpawnCon from celebrities. It's just unforgettable how she promoted the Fire Festival, for which she got $250,000 for each post, and then got dissed by her fans on social media when the festival was a flop. Let's go back to the famed sponsorship deal with Pepsi, so we can understand how much the model earns for some of these arrangements. Yes, because although it was amongst the worst PR disasters of 2017, she still walked away rich. She said, you all stay mad because she was content in the end and were sure of it. According to a source, she was most likely paid a one-time fee for the advertisement, and the guess was between $400,000 and $1 million. Dang, that's a lot of money. And considering how many of these sponsorship deals she does, imagine how the money keeps piling up. This makes us understand just how much money she's earning, but there's more to her career than we think. Finally, reality TV has boosted her net worth. Among other things, like her 818 tequila brand and her obvious modeling career, her involvement in keeping up with the Kardashians and the Kardashians later on has taken her up to the next level. The supermodel has been making a lot of cash since she was a kid because her family has stayed on TV since 2007. When it comes to like friends being on the show, it went back a really long time to when I was in like middle school and the show had just started. In 2016, reports emerged that their incomes were within the low seven figures. Afterward, Variety stated in 2017 that the channel had agreed to an under $100 million contract to renew the show beyond 2020. Kendall undoubtedly received a big pay cut, even though she wasn't even present on screen nearly as often as her sisters at the time. I'm forcing myself to stay here right now for dinner. I just want to get in my bed and get cozy. Now, in 2022, the family has officially jumped from E to Hulu, which means many things. Not only will we have to rely on the streaming service to enjoy the show, but it also implies that they may have already been making that $100 million, as that's what they're supposedly getting from the site and their lucrative two-season deal. Thanks. Good morning. Thanks to these fortunate events, Kendall's net worth is around $45 million, $15 million more than her net worth four years ago. That's pretty insane, and we support a girl boss wherever we get the chance. So interesting being on the other side of it and really feel like, okay, I can understand you and I can sit here and do what I would hope someone would do for me. And that's a wrap, folks. What do you guys think about Kendall's soon-to-be-born horse baby? Tell us in the comments below, and as always, click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more updates about your favorite celebrities. See you in the next video.